Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Today we have another Who Would Win match. This time, it's the gal's turn. Zhang Yao will be taking on Android 18. This has been a debated match that has been going on for years. Now, I can't give you the perfect response to who would win, but I will do my best to describe how the fight would go out. So to begin the fight, we would have to go back to the moment when Krillin went up against Zangya. Now let's say that after Zangya easily defeated Krillin, 18 saw it happen and quickly went to the rescue. 18 arrives just in time to take on Zangya, and from the research I found, Zangya's power level is very close to 18's, so there won't be a quick defeat like with Krillin. I will explain their power levels in the end of the fight. So to begin, both fighters would dash at each other and begin fighting. They would block and counter each move over and over until eventually they begin landing hits on one another. Seeing as how they appear to be evenly matched, Zhang Ye uses her finger beams on 18. 18 would receive some damage but not enough to stun her. 18 would fight back using the same move. Zhenya would continue using the finger beam to try and overpower 18's same move. 18 would predict that her opponent wouldn't stop using that move, so as soon as she knew she wasn't visible with all the key beams interfering, 18 quickly gets behind Zhenya and lands a strong kick on her. She is launched through boulders and after she recovers, she rushes towards 18 and uses her quick revenge move, hurting 18 and making her lose her balance. Zhangya would then use her sliding attack, inflicting extra damage on 18. Zhangya would use her trap shooter attack to finish off Android 18 while she is down. The Key Blast would cause a massive explosion. Zhangya would be confident that she killed her opponent, but as the smoke clears, it is revealed that 18 is still alive and barely appears to be injured. This would anger 18 and startle Zhangya because she did not expect her opponent to survive such a blast. 18 would charge at Zhangya and headbutt her so hard, Zhangya would be stunned, leaving her open for an additional hit. 18 would take advantage of this moment and use her double cluster move and inflict a lot of damage on Zhangya. Android 18 would then begin charging a stronger key attack to finish her off. Zhangya would see this as an opportunity to use her cycle thread and grab a hold of 18, not letting her move. Zhangya would continue holding her down with her cycle thread to drain as much energy away from Android 18. Little would she know that 18 is an android and her energy is not the same as everyone else's. So after holding her down for a while, she would release her and assume she is weak and begin attacking her. This would damage 18 but as she is taking hits, Zhangya is becoming restless and 18 begins blocking and dodging her moves once Zhangya's power level slowly decreases. Then 18 would strike back harder, turning the tables on Zhangya and this time she would need to block or dodge 18's moves but would fail and receive many hits from 18. Zhangya would step away to use her cycle thread once again and stop 18 from attacking her. Only this time 18 has seen the move performed and she stretches one arm away to free it from the cycle threats. 18 would hide her arm away from Zhangya's vision to prevent her from seeing what she is about to do next. Zhangya would not let go of the threads and 18 would use the opportunity to make her destructive disc and launch it at Zhangya, cutting the cycle threads and cutting Zhangya in half, finishing the fight. Now let me tell you why I think this is the way the fight would turn out. Android 18's power level is 320 million. Now, Zhangya's is not accurate, nor do I know if the one I found was the correct power level, but if it is, then it is said to be 285 million. But I do believe it is correct because after analyzing what Zhangya was capable of, it really looks like Android 18 would stand a better chance at winning. Not only because 18 has a higher power level, but Android 18 has proven that she is much more superior than the Android 18 from the future, and she can take care of herself without the help of her brother, 17, fighting by her side. Also, the Android 18 we know from the present time was said by Trunks to be much stronger than the future 18. Zhenya may have appeared moments later after Cell, 
but that doesn't mean Bojack's crew were stronger than the androids. Zhenya may have easily defeated Krillin, but who can't nowadays? Okay, I won't compare Krillin as a reason. So when Zhenya fought Trunks and Gohan, she needed the help of her partners to defeat them. There was a brief moment when Trunks was taking on Zhenya on her own, and she did land a hit without the aid of her partners. But we can't be sure whether Trunks was not going all out because he had to mind his surroundings. As in, he had to look out for the others teaming up on him. If they gave us more screen time and extra info on Zhenya, then maybe I would be able to change the outcome of the fight. Then again, maybe she could win if she had transformed just like Bojack and Kagu. Then I'm sure Android 18 would have a different fate than the one I predicted. Maybe that would deserve a rematch video. But as for now, that's it for this match. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, put a thumbs up. And if there are any other videos you would love to request, please let me know in the comments. Also, post up any comments, funny ones or whatever ones you can think of. Especially if you can think of a better way you see this fight going. I put the best comments up in my videos whenever I see some really good ones. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll be sure to let you know when I post up more videos. This is Score saying have an awesome day.